pre-plan your meals. That is what is going to happen, I guarantee you. If you are not prepared, so tomorrow you guys are going to pre-plan your meals for the week, and either Saturday or Sunday you're going to prep your meals for the week, you're going to eat like a jackass, okay? So if you don't prep, you're going to get hungry, and you're going to eat bad things that you shouldn't eat. Make sure you're prepping your food. So John Seahorn is a good, um, the, his meals are allowed on it minus the dairy. So just make sure if you want to order from him, tell him no dairy in any of your food. Okay, so just some of the stuff he has, Parmesan cheese, just no dairy. Want to eliminate that as much as possible. All right, so when adapting to the diet, these are some of the benefits you are going to see. I'm just going to, I'm going to wait for it. Lose weight if you're overweight. Boom, everybody should be losing weight if you're, um, Initially, you're going to feel fatigue cutting sugars. That usually takes about a week to go away. That's if you're eating a lot of sugar. Um, eat fruit. Eat fruit. I don't care if you eat fruit. It's still sugar, but it's better than, than processed sugars. Um, improve your athletic performance. So one of our big things is we want to see athletic performance perform over, improve over your five weeks. Eliminate acne if you have it. That's a really good one. Some people have it. Some people don't. Sleep better. Increase libido. Improve your mental outlook and clarity. I got nothing. But anyway, the goal of this challenge is to at least give you a good base to where you can continue this over time. Okay, so you're not just going to stop eating like this when you're done. You're going to take this and continue to eat like this, but make it, you know, an 80 20 sort of lifestyle versus, you know, we want to try and get you guys at 100% for the challenge alone, but your goal is to eventually carry this over and make a healthy lifestyle. It's not just a healthy quick fix. This should be a lifestyle change, okay? All right. These are, um, I'll post this later, but these are just a few breakfast ideas, some lunch ideas. I'm not gonna stay too long on this because I will have this posted so you guys can actually read it. But breakfast, easiest option is omelets. Lunches, big salads with meats, lots of veggies, uh, walnuts, almonds, all sorts of stuff. For dinner, spaghetti squash is a substitute, uh, marinara, roasted beets, berries are good for fruits. These are just some general ideas. I've already posted a ton of recipes already. Under the files tab, if you guys have been just been added, you'll see a whole list of recipes. I posted another one today of 37 recipes. Um, so make sure to look at the files tab and you can print out, I didn't print out everything for today, just the really important stuff. So you can print that stuff out and put it in your little file. All right, cheat meals. So goal on, this cheat, goal on this challenge is five weeks, no cheats, okay? So no cheats, no alcohol, okay? So we will get into alcohol if you do want it and how to do it and how to log it, but your goal is no cheat meals. If you decide to have a cheat meal, let's say you lose 10 pounds your first week and you're like, fuck, I can't maintain this, and it happens, <laughs> please contact me and I will say, hey, this is what you can have for a cheat meal. It's a two hour window and this is how I sustain healthy lifestyles, usually I eat really clean and then I have one cheat, you get a two hour, two hour window to eat whatever the F you want, okay? <laughs> so but our goal is for, it's only five weeks. So I made it five weeks so it's a little bit more sustainable than six to eight weeks. That's a little bit longer than you need more cheats, but really try and go without. If you really feel like you need something, I will post a recipe that's going to be a healthy version of what you want, okay? So just come to me if you're feeling like that. All right, so we're gonna go a little bit about alcohol and why it is not good for you. So I listened to this extremely good podcast um, when I was driving, where was I driving? Oh, for Thanksgiving. Um, so the goal to go without alcohol, why? Inability to make good decisions, overeating focus <laughs> may decrease. Interferes with your quality of sleep, specifically your REM cycle. So if you know about the REM cycle and sleep patterns, you need REM cycle for recovery. You cannot have that not get muscle recovery if you don't get into that REM cycle. So if your sleep is crap, that is something we need to work on over these next five weeks. Alcohol interferes with that. Yes, you might pass out from alcohol, but your sleep is going to be crap and you're not going to recover. Um, when alcohol is consumed, fat burning stops and the body focuses on metabolizing alcohol first because it is toxic, which shuts down all your other functions of your body to include absorption and breakdown of important macronutrients like protein, carbs, fats, which can lead to higher body fat. So for instance, did bodybuilding. My coach was like, you gotta stop drinking. I'm like, but I love alcohol. I ate so, 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 so good until I cut out alcohol because it's not gonna let you process anything. Even though it was a little bit at night, it's going to affect all of your body's functions. So it's only five weeks. If you can cut it out, cut it out. 
Um, it's going to just, you're going to see results better, okay? It's also a depressant, um, slows your metabolism, and slows down protein synthesis, interfering with your muscle gains. And then I posted the podcast if you want to listen to it. It's like two hours long. Um, I can't see it up there, but I'll post it. Um, it's Burn It Nutrition Podcast. So when I, I post the thing, any questions on alcohol? We're, we're about to get into the good ones and how to track it, but... Um, that one's super important. Any questions on that? No? Okay. You guys gonna try and cut it out? <laughs> so, but guess what? If you do want to use alcohol... Okay, so this is the big thing. So how to track alcohol. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you're tracking your food, you know how sometimes alcohol <laughs> says it's got three carbs, but it's 100 calories? There's... <laughs> that is not right. So it's 100 calories, there's three carbs, it should be more like 100 divided by four is 25 carbs, okay? So if you're actually drinking, there's empty calories in alcohol. So that's why we're just gonna say cut it out, but if you do wanna do it, you gotta exchange carbs and exchange fat. This is where we get into the math section. Um, you have to divide your total drink by four calories if you wanna use carbs, you have to divide it by nine if you wanna use fat. So we'll get more into the macros in a second. Um, but for example, if you have a 360 calorie drink, that's gonna be 90 carbs, which is like a, I don't know, like a mojito or something with like sugary stuff in it. Um, so a glass of wine, I usually track it as 30 carbs. So if you're going to drink and track, you have to actually track those calories and those carbs. And that's, that's less food you actually get to eat. So your body's just drinking empty calories and you don't actually have food in your system. So it's not good. But this will be on there to review it more. I don't want to get too much into it because I don't want you to, it says if you already know how to track it, if you want to win, just don't drink. Because it's up there. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> All right. Supplements. Um, The main goal is to eat nutrient-dense foods to attain your goal and lim limit supplementation as much as possible. Protein supplement, that's fine. I do want you guys to drink a post-workout protein shake, but it needs to be like a paleo-approved, whole 30-approved type deal. So minimal ingredients. Um, Michael, since you're on your phone, can you do me a favor and go in the office and get, <laughs> and get the box of supplements I have so I can pass it around and show people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait though. In in the in the office, there's a box of supplements. Okay. Can you just grab that? I want to pass that around to show people. Um, BCAAs. That does help with muscle recovery. If you are gonna get it, try and get the, the unflavored kind. Um, especially if you come in and work out fasted in the morning, that's really important. Five to ten grams, that's usually a scoop or two. But try and get unflavored because it's going to have sugar um, and sweeteners in it. So if you're going to do that. And then a green supplement, um, that's... Mm -hmm. So you want us to have a post... Workout <coughs> protein shake. And we'll go and over the meal plan and it says it on there too. How long do you need to wait? So yep. to mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we'll go over that. Yep. It's usually it's 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes. But... Okay. And then fish oil, that just helps with inflammation. And then it also says a basic multivitamin too. So basically I want to pass out, I'm gonna do these two first. I want you guys, uh, this might be open. I just want you guys to pass these around. I want you to take, take a look at a clean protein and a non-clean protein and how, much, how many ingredients are in the non-clean. And that's the one I usually drink, it's the Fruity Pebble one. It's so bad. <laughs> so I know better, but during off season, like I'm doing the challenge, so I'm gonna clean it up, but usually I don't give a rest, but what I'm drinking when I'm just like kind of just regular. Um, so, and it tastes way better too. <laughs> but anyway, so I want you guys to pass that around. Just kind of take a look at like how many, if you don't even know what some of the ingredients are on the paleo protein, you can actually like, oh, I know what this is, I know what that is. Nutrient timing, um, if you work out in the morning, Try and eat protein and carbs pre-workout. Then post-workout, you want all three. So post-workout protein shake is highly recommended. Then your main meal is in the hour. So the post-workout protein shake should be within 30 minutes. Okay, so like immediately. So post-workout, and it's gonna be on the meal plan. We'll go over in a second too. Um, afternoon or night workouts, I would save your starch, your carbs for the evenings. 
And then when I talk, when we go to the meal template, I'll kind of go about how to change that around. And then I'll just close that. Yeah, you want a good portion of your carbs in the evening. So who's morning workout people, like early? That's it? Oh, okay. So you guys get more carbs in the morning. Who's night? Everybody else is night? So you guys are going to eat more carbs at night. So you're going to just save some of your carbs from your morning meal to your night meal. So when we get to the meal time, we'll go over that. Nutrient timing, that one's pretty small in there. But basically, nutrient timing is not as important if you're a beginner athlete. Um, not that important. I just want you guys eating clean food for right now. If you're an intermediate, um, extreme fat loss is very important. If you're trying to lose weight quick, which you guys are trying to do, extreme muscle gain, um, continuous training. So if you guys are doing like CrossFit plus the sprint plus another hour of bodybuilding, that is super important because you probably need two workout shakes then or you need some more carbohydrates than you were to get. So it's just, that's just going to depend on your personal energy expenditure throughout the day. All right, so we're going to go a little bit into what our macros. Do you know how to make this any smaller because the bottom's cutting off?
sit on a Pilates ball and bounce around on it. Like, I don't care. You need to be moving as much as possible to burn as many calories as possible. So this is a general estimation so you guys can kind of start thinking about what your resting metabolic rate is. It's 10 times your body weight. So everyone, you get to weight in 10 times your body weight, okay? So that's a general estimation. We're gonna do a very more detailed um, estimated rate in a second, but this is the basic calorie count you need, and mostly everybody that comes to me is under feeding themselves. Mostly everybody, okay? So mostly everyone is under eating. You cannot boost your metabolism and lose weight if you are constantly in an under feeding state because your body's gonna be in starvation mode. It's gonna store as much fat as possible. We gotta get you guys eating enough food to burn as many calories as possible, thus decreasing body fat and increasing muscle mass. So this is how do I know what to eat, coach? Well, that's what we're about to do. So, you guys open your folders if you don't have one. So the challenge people got a folder, if you're just doing the seminar, you did it, but get with somebody that um, has one. I actually want to start with finding your metabolic rate first. So we're going to go get the how to determine your daily calorie intake form. I know it's a little bit blurry. I want everybody to take the, so if you're a woman, 655 plus 4.3 times your body weight plus 4.7 times your height in inches minus 4.7 times your age. I already did mine. Mine's at 2300, so I want you guys to take a few minutes. I want you to find your own personal BMR. So I know we have the set meal plan, but everyone's is going to be different based on your BMR. So everybody take a few minutes and do, do some math. If you need help, let me know. You should have your phones. If you're really bad at math, let me know. Are you, <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> no, I got it. Later. You see the difference, you guys, in those protein powders? Yes. yes. But that, that would taste really good, though. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's like literally eating cereal. You get your bag of I got it on Amazon. I think I posted it on the group the other day. Yeah. Everything I usually get is on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. Are you guys done with that? Did you look at it? <laughs> when you guys are done, raise your hand. What's the 4.7? What is that? The number? This is the Harris Benedict method. This is the method that they teach us as personal trainers um, to use in our CSCS. It's just a set method that this guy's been using forever. I have no idea what the numbers are. <laughs> I bet. It's just some formula he came up with a long, long, long time ago. And that's what everybody uses sports athletes. You guys should be close. Your initial RMR should be close to 10 times your body weight. Mine was only 100 calories off. If you, if you guys need some paper, let me know. Okay. Well, I'm going to start eating good. Jose. level with it. So that's going to be like, I would calculate a little bit on the lower end or what you think you're going to be doing. No, just leave it at this. That is your arm bar, though, probably. Yeah, probably because their numbers are going to be so they're doing 
By your activity level, you guys. You guys, if you guys all do CrossFit three to five times a week, you need to time that. You need to add that. But that's what we
okay? So women, total calorie count, 1350 to 1800. Not a single one of you is small enough to be eating under 1350 calories, okay? If you guys are, if you guys are eating that little, that's ridiculous. You guys should minimum like around 1800, okay? So that's where you guys kind of just, if you follow the meal plan, so meal one for instance, three to four ounce lean protein, you're gonna weigh that out. That's about 20 grams of protein right there, okay? 30 to 40 grams of carbs. You're gonna go to the little shopping list. You're gonna be like, oh, where's the carbs? Oh, there they are. Oh, I'm gonna pick some whole oats. I'm gonna figure out how many 40 grams of carbs that is. It's about 50 grams weighed. So you guys actually have to read food labels too and stuff, okay? So I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So let's go back. So you guys figured out what your deficit should be. So you need to eat the deficit, but you also, does everybody have an Apple Watch or some sort of like tracking device? Who does not? Okay. It would be very, very, very beneficial to get one if you, if you can. I know guys, it's kind of gay, but you know. Uh, <laughs> if you can, or even a heart rate monitor, if you can get one of those heart rate monitors to wear when you're working out, and yeah, I think you wear it throughout the day too, it's going to give you a baseline of like your calorie output. Alright, so protein requirements, you guys are going to all figure out your protein requirements. So your own personal, so these, these meal plans are guidelines. This is kind of just based on a general like my weight type person. So like I said, these are guidelines. So 0.8 to 1.2 grams per kilogram. You guys know how to figure out your kilograms? No. You're gonna divide your weight by two and a half. 2.2, that's what I meant. 2.2. I got you. That's what I meant. <laughs> so go ahead and find your kilogram of your body weight. And then I want you to find your protein range. So it's going to be 0.8 to 1.2. This is on the low end. This is just for maintaining muscle mass. If you want to gain muscle, it's going to go even higher. It's going to go to 1.5 to 2.0. Okay? Okay, so how do you find your kilograms in your body weight? 2.1? 2.2. Divided by 2.2, not 2.5. I meant to say 2.2. So like April, you need to be at 2.0 times your kilograms in body weight. Who else wanted to gain muscle? And you, and you, yeah. You guys need to be at the higher range, 1.5 to 2.0. For weight loss, you only need to be at 0.8 to 1.2 for protein. This is according to the NSCA and the CSCS, okay? <laughs> This is according to all of the current studies out there. This is not this is not me making a number up. This is according to certification. And this is for sport, sports athletes as well. So like me, I'm used to eating one times my body weight in protein. That's what I eat right now. So if you guys want to still continue to do that, I'm fine with that. That's what I eat. I eat 150 grams of protein a day. But at least that's a start. I do it for body weight. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. For, so I'm at 150 right now. So for weight loss, you want to go where? I'm sorry. You want to be at, so on your meal plan, you want to be at 0.8 to 1.2. Which is around? Divided. To find kilograms. <laughs> One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Any time the protein is 1.2. Yeah. And that's going to be the general guidelines. And then so I, we even posted, this is from the NSDA, so if you weigh 150 pounds and you want to bulk up, A2 to B2, 102 to 137, so probably the higher range. So it's the same. Okay. Which mine is like my body weight. Yeah, it's kind of weight. Yeah. But if you guys are wanting to do weight loss, you can lower that down a little bit. But you have a lot of muscle mass already. That's, that's, you can maintain your muscle with just eating that. But you're, I know, but you're going to get more carbs, though. <laughs> well, that's the thing. That's where you can play around. If you want to keep your muscle mass, you can probably go on some 2.0 more. That is a little. I, I eat 150. Yeah, so you can stay with that and then do lower carbs. That's where everybody's going to be a little bit different. So a general guideline, I want everyone, female, to hit a minimum of 100 grams of protein. Males, I want you to hit a minimum of 145 grams. Minimum. Of protein? Yes, minimum 145.
the tired, great. Eat more. I, I don't care. You can eat more protein. I do not give a crap about protein. Eat protein. Protein is going to make you gain muscle and burn fat. The other two are we're gonna figure out. All right. Good. So, but it's on. It's on the list. This is if you want to track. You guys don't have to track though. You just eat what I tell you to eat on here. This is just another. You can't really see it very good. Um, like I said, I'll post the PowerPoint later. But basically, this is just showing you the different United States Department of Agriculture. Oh my God, they're terrible. They have total calories of protein at like extremely low, and the carbohydrates are through the roof. Now that's good for athletes, but not necessarily good for weight loss. Academy of uh, Nutrition and Dietetics is six to ten grams of kilograms per body weight, which is close to ISSN. It's about the same. So these are just different. And then you can see paleo diet, 23% of carbs, 38% protein. We're not doing paleo. So we're not doing paleo. So we're going to look at that. So this is just kind of gives you like, these are diff. Everybody's telling you something different. So you need to find what works for your body. Okay. So it's going to be a learning process over time. All right. So it's, it's not, you're not going to be perfect right off the get go. <laughs> Any questions on that? I know it's, I know this part is confusing, and that's why it's nice to have a coach to do all the shit for you. And that's what I usually do for my guys. And, but I want you guys just to really think about just eating whole foods first, and then as you go, um, I'll give you guys an app to track if you want to actually track it and see. Um, so adjusting. So this is where you're going to start adjusting. So let's say you're at, let's say I'm at, you know, my resting amount of body weight is 491. Um, my with my activity is 23, start 2311. I'm minus 500. I'm at 1800 calories, and I gain weight. You, oh, this is, yeah. Click that one. That's it. You gain weight and look and feel better. Eat a meal you really enjoy. Reduce your calories by 10 percent. Try to move more. Stay the same weight and feel no change. Eat a meal you really enjoy, reduce calories by 5%. Basically what it's saying is every week, if you're not losing weight, maybe adjust that a little bit. So you're like, okay, I'm eating 1,800 calories. I've only lost a pound, but I want to lose two. I might drop it by 50 calories, so 5% or 10%. So you don't want to drop like too quick, too fast. Okay, so that's where like the math gets in and um, you can start really, really dialing in. You can drop your fats. If you lost weight and you feel good, going to keep things the same. So if you're on average at two to three pounds a week and you're doing everything I'm telling you to do and you're still, you're losing, you don't need to adjust anything. Okay. If you're losing too fast, you might need to add in a cheat meal or something like that. That's where you guys need to come to me. If you're like, okay, I'm eating this. I'll be like, okay, are you weighing everything? No. Okay. Maybe next week start weighing everything and actually like see if you're actually eating enough. Are we going to weigh you in once a week? No. Okay. A weight? Yeah. No. Okay. You will not. Only at the end of the week. Now you guys can do home weigh-ins and see your averages if you want. Um, that's up to you on a track. I'm gonna give you guys a really good app to track your food and you guys can add me as a professional and I can keep track of it. There's a lot of you, but if you guys reached out to me, I can always take a look at your food logs and be like, we need to do this different, this different. It's called Fat Secret. Calorie counter, write that down. <laughs> it's also on the um, nutrition guidebook in the files tab as well. That's my favorite app because it does macros. <laughs> your macros on there. It's fat called secret. Calorie Counter when you look it up, but it's called it shows up as Fat Secret. It's a little green keyhole thing. That's if you want to track. I would highly recommend for the best results you do, but if you're very, very, very beginner, just eating clean is going to you're still going to see results. Does it matter what time you're eating? You have to like eat it. Yeah. So we'll go over that a little bit oh. more. I kind of got ahead of myself on the meal plan thing. Oh. Um, you can't share a coach to look at that. Yeah, I cannot see it. So Fat Secret is the only one you can actually add a coach to see your logs. So I do not, I do, and it's very inaccurate also. I do not like my fitness pal. I do not. Um, Fat Secret is very, very accurate, but I don't really care too much about the calories. It's more about the macros you guys are trying to hit. That's just me personally. You guys can use whatever app you want. I just won't be able to see it unless you do 
All right, so just kind of moving on. I just want to finish this slide out and then we'll get back into the meal plan because that's like the most important for you guys. Water, drink water. Also, sodium. If you guys are dieting, you're more than likely because you're cutting out processed foods, your sodium is going to be down. You need to have sodium in your diet. So Himalayan peak sea salt or regular sea salt is fine. You can salt your foods. Um, eating processed foods, you're already getting enough from the processed foods. You probably didn't need to add it, but you probably will need to add it. So it's important for cellular function, cardiac function, if you're getting cramps. That's probably your sodium, your calcium. Um, so drink lots of water. This is the general guideline on water, eight by eight, um, 2.5 liters a day. Eat, drink eight glasses minimum, minimum a day, okay? Of can an eight ounce glass of water. water. You can drink too much water. What's, what's um, the cap on that? I don't think, like I, I drink a gallon a day and I exercise, so I don't think I, I think if you're doing like two gallons a day for an extended period of time, that's going to be a little bit too much. Yeah, that's hypernatremia or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but it kind of goes over best time. Drink, drink in the morning. Drink before each meal. Um, just drink water. Drink your damn water. I know a lot of people don't drink enough water, especially cutting out processed foods. You guys are probably going to gain or lose weight initially up to five pounds just in water weight because you're cutting out processed foods. So that's just your body just letting go of all the excess water that is in the processed foods that your body's holding, okay? But then also recommended daily water intake in liters. Um, I think in the athlete guidebook under the files, it goes into way more detail. So like if you're a runner, runner, you guys are runners, there's a, there's um, in the athlete guidebook, it gets into more detail about how much water you should be drinking before, after, and during too. So if you guys wanted to look at that. Um, all right, you guys, minimum, will be eating five, five meals a day, minimum. Goal is five to seven, okay? I know some of you have jobs where that is really, really hard to do, but just remember, the less meals you eat, the harder it is gonna boost your metabolism, okay? So eat like this little kid and eat constantly and frequently, okay? So these are, okay, so let's look at the, this is just, um, a template I had on here. I want you guys to look at your meal plans on the, or your shopping list on the meal plans. So, if you look at it, there's tons of food options. So I have your lean protein, which is four calories per gram. So I put stuff down to limit. You can have it, but limit it. So like Canadian <coughs> bacon, turkey bacon, that's higher in sodium. You know, whey protein bar, um, or whey protein, protein bars, those are good for emergencies, traveling, non-dairy free protein. So I love plain Greek, plain Greek yogurt. Um, Fairly like chocolate milk is good. Almond milk is processed, but you can have that because I'd rather you cut out dairy, but Fair Life is actually dairy free. Um, and it's got a lot of calcium in it too. So those are, so I put non-dairy free protein sources, higher fat protein. So if you eat the higher fat proteins, you don't need to add in that fat for that meal. All your vegetables, your carbohydrates, whole oats, oat bran, brown rice, um, edamame pasta. I wanted to pass around this stuff. This edamame pasta, if you're a pasta eater, is the bomb.com. I think I posted a picture. Kodiak cakes for breakfast now in moderation. Talking. Where do you get that? Now we're talking. Um, Amazon. Everything I get is off mm -hmm. Amazon usually if it's a pre-prep. Um, just something like <laughs> pumpkin seeds, good for snacks and stuff. But I just want you guys to be wary of like the it's a it's a 30 grams of this is 14 grams of fat, so just be wary. What about their uh, blueberry mix, their muffin mix? No, the, if you look at the macronutrients on that one, it's 14 protein, 27 carbs, and 1.5 fats or something like that, or 2.5. So the blueberry muffin mix is like 45 carbs and way less protein. So this one, so the double chocolate, the chocolate one, the, the wheat or the regular buttermilk, and I think the peanut butter are good. Like, because it has higher protein, but you still want to add some protein to it. And they have an oatmeal. I don't know if you know about that, but you can order if it's from Costco. They have an oatmeal? Yeah. I would say like no. The carbs are way too high. high. For you, if you're a runner, yeah, maybe. Okay. That might be okay. Um, but that's a really good, one of my favorite breakfast options. Then I make muffins with that. But in moderation, the sodium is high. It's also processed. It's in a box. Um, even though the edamame is in a box, it's you can see it's edamame. That's it on the ingredient list. 
Uh, peanut butter, powdered peanut butter is good if you want to keep your fat intake low. This does have sugar in it. There might be some options. I just wanted to bring some food that I like to eat. Um, and of course, as real as possible, these little peanut butter packets, um, eggs and peanuts. Okay, so just make sure you're reading food labels and you know what's in it. Lara bars are really good for snack. It's dates and cashews, and that's it. So if you guys stick with this approved shopping list, you guys should be good to go. Fats are on there, fruits. I put healthy drinks, other snacks, condiments that you, there's a ton of condiments you guys can have. With all these meats, what's the portion? Is it, fat? Is it matter? It says it on your, on your, so if you go to your, your portion size, you're gonna look at the meal plan. So what you guys are gonna do is you're like, okay, meal one. I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I gotta work out. So I'm gonna have, for a man, a man you're gonna have 78 ounces of lean protein or 30 to 40 grams that's of protein, 40 to 50 grams of carbs, a green veggie of choice, and one serving of fat. Can you tell me what a meal like that would be? What would you have for breakfast? What do I have for breakfast? What would you have? If, if that was your meal, what are you gonna eat? Protein's always hard to get for breakfast because you want something lean. Shit ton of egg whites. <laughs> <laughs> Shit ton. I will eat literally 10 in the serving. Huh? You could do I, whole I eggs, you just wouldn't add any extra fats. Yeah. yeah, so you would you would do probably five, but you'd have to do more egg whites too. Um, and you could do some chicken in there, you could do some steak in there. Does oh, anyone know what 40, 40 to 50 grams of carbs would look like? Did you guys see my picture of the strawberries this morning? That, that's on the group? It was like 20 strawberries, it's only 20 carbs. It means you need to eat more, okay? So you need to make sure to be eating enough. The only way to know to do that is to log it. They have these new scales nowadays. I think I shared it, I can't remember. I think I was wanting to share it. They're 50 bucks, but they're worth it. If you put, you enter this code in it, I don't, I don't know if anyone has it. You enter a code, like so strawberries for instance, you enter that code and then you put your strawberries on it, it'll tell you how many macros strawberries you're like total macros that then you really don't have like that then you're just like oh, okay so i need 30 to 40 grams of protein and you just keep adding chicken until it gets to your to, you know to your amount so that's if you want to get super 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 strict and that's um, eight, the, the seven to eight ounces of protein that's cooked not uncooked cooked let's do cooked yeah not un uncooked is so hard because okay. you have to like measure it out no just do it cooked if you eat more than the allotted amount, not a big deal on protein. Um, take, take, really take a look at that meal plan. Let me know if you have any questions. What about pasta? Like regular pasta? That would be, um, you will have just have to measure it out. Like for you, like 50 grams of carbs, that would be like one serving of pasta, which is only like 20 strands. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> huh? My meal, my calories pretty high. Yeah, so you I mean, need to eat, yeah, so you'll be fine. I've just measure it out. Just make sure, like, when you look at the ingredient list, it says, like, if it's 50 carbs per serving, just measure out a serving for that meal. Okay, so if I work out in the evening, do I need to switch meals? Uh, you're just going to eat, so if your workout is in the a.m., have higher carb meals, so yes. So let's look at the girls' ones. So most of you guys work out in the evening. So I would say you're going to... So for meal five, your 10 to 20 grams of carbs is gonna be your breakfast, and then your 30 to 40 grams of meal one is gonna be at night. So if you work out in the evening, just swap meal one and meal five for everybody, guy and girl. I just, I wrote this based on a morning workout, but. When you, you say turkey breast, you mean like deli turkey breast, like sliced sandwich meat turkey breast, mm -hmm. or you mean like actual get turkey? Get it from the deli. You okay. can do both. I'm not a good cook, so I would just get it twice. <laughs> that would be in moderate. Oh, um, no, like turkey breast, um, Lean protein. protein like no, that would be like actual turkey breast from like the meat section, like the frozen meat section. They have like turkey no, no, butter. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. yes. Like slice, <laughs> no. Uh -uh. What about collagen peptides? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, as long as there's no added sugar or anything. What about yeah, that, that's fine. So, all right, question time. So, you guys, we're pretty much done with this. Um, that's everything that's on that meal plan and your challenge accepted. All right, question, go. Were you just saying no to like deli meat? Like 
like if you go to like a like more it's processed if you're going to get it from like the actual deli section yeah that's fine just make sure you're gonna have to ask them to see the um the label make sure there's no added sugar okay. so a lot of that stuff they add sugar and other stuff that so should not be in there labels to things and that's fine things post it i would them. if you guys do have anything food related post it to the group first because someone else might have that same question and i'll just respond on there so like one of, one of the girls back here posted their protein, and yes, that's approved. So just look at the ingredients label. Basically, you don't want any added sugar, any added salt, any added anything in it. It should be a, a whole food. That is the, the goal for the foods. Boris said makes them be like that. It like makes them that uncured, just Yeah, un and they probably do. It's too much, they've got some all natural. Yeah, it's just natural. Yeah, much. that's fine. What I have seen people chicken bacon? Food. Chicken what? Bacon. Chicken bacon? I would have to see the ingredient label. Yeah. Listen, it's the best thing I've ever heard of. It. <laughs> yeah, and that's so the thing. Good. If you guys find stuff that's so like, you think it's so good, at least it's it for everybody it's else to eat. Like, I love that edamame pasta stuff. The fiber's <laughs> high, the protein's high, the carbs are good, it's low in fat. Um, the big thing you guys probably need to get is a scale and get your protein ready for tomorrow. It should be here Monday. Um, and then it also says on here for your. It, um, Meal two is your post-workout. You're just gonna drink that and eat that whenever your post-workout would be. Okay, so one scoop of protein shake with eight ounces of, you can either drink your carbs or you can have a fruit. So coconut water is approved for post-workout. Um, fruit juice would be like a, like no added sugar, orange juice, tart cherry juice is good for inflammation, um, something like that. Okay, Holly? Yeah, so the days and the Numas out there are loud. So the drinks out front are are friendly. They don't have any added ingredients. Oh yeah, you guys can drink coffee. Dairy free creamer's fine. Anything I think I posted on the shopping list, dairy free creamer's fine. The one that I posted that Mula is like all like real ingredients. It's like coconut milk and like banana puree. So yeah, you guys can still have coffee and you can have stevia. Stevia's fine. So it's fine. No. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just eat yeah. Splenda yeah. is an artificial ingredient. It's artificial sweetener. So it gives you cancer. <laughs> and I used to, I drink it every day too, so I have to cut it out. No, stick with um, whole plant stuff. Yeah, I'm a big Diet Coke and Sprite beer drinker too. So Zevia is, uh, is a soda flavored with Stevia, so that's good as well. Yeah, I would still do one to two packs a day. Yeah, because there's still carbs in it. So if you eat ten, if you're, you're going to eat ten a day, that's ten extra carbs out of just. It still spikes your insulin for some reason. So there's done studies on that. It still spikes your insulin. Honey, honey's fine. You're just going to count that towards your carbs though, because one tablespoon of honey has about 14 grams of carbs. That's going to be about half your serving. So I'll probably limit that as much as so possible. So like in the morning, if you're a morning workout, like a honey. Yeah, for your 30 to 40 grams, that would be plenty. You wouldn't need any other carbs then if you're doing that. Yeah. You guys, breads are also allowed in moderation too. Ezekiel bread's fine. Some of the Dave's Killer bread's fine. Just make sure to look at the ingredients. Um, I like bread too. I love to make French toast with bread. <laughs> so. I know you guys have questions about what to eat. When to eat, that's what I need. When oh, when? Okay, so <coughs> yes. So basically, so when to eat, meal timing. So if you guys look at your meals, meal one should be about an hour before your first workout. So that's gonna depend, that's all gonna be dependent on you. So let's say I work out at 8.30, I'm gonna eat at 7.30. And then my meal two is gonna be post-workout, that's gonna be at 9.30. And then my meal three is gonna be like my lunch, that'll be about 11.30. And then my meal four is gonna be around two to three p.m. My dinner, meal five is gonna be around five to six p.m. Your meal six before bed is gonna be about seven p.m. Can you say when you need to buy them up again? Will you do it based on the PM work? Hmm? You said for, the first thing you said though, the hour before you work out. So when do you wake up? Um, usually six or six thirty. And you work out at night? I work out in the morning. I was just so trying to I, understand what you were. About an hour before you wake up, then every two to three hours thereafter. Two to three hours. Yep, and you just want your post workout <laughs> shake within thirty minutes in your snack. Yeah, every two to three hours. So if you're nighttime, you would still wake up and you would start your meals. You would just do every two to three hours. And you might have to work backwards though. So 
<laughs> so if you work out at 5.30, you're going to be eating almost three meals at night. Ooh. Yes, because you need to eat to fuel your muscles at night. So that's why I like working out in the morning. What about the overnight? I don't like eating that late at night. No. <laughs> Try and stop eating, you guys, like an hour before bed. What if you are not fit? It's going to be the same thing. You're just going to... But you're gonna base your so you schedule off whatever your shift is. Like every you wake up, it's going to be your start time. So you just base it off of that. So what time do you go to work? Yeah, so when you wake up, just connect to massage. Okay, so you're gonna have a meal, you're gonna have your breakfast, and then every two or three hours thereafter, you just kind of base it on that. Yeah, just make sure to eat during your nurse. Yeah, make sure you're a nurse, too, right? Yeah, you guys just make sure to eat on your shifts. I know it is. I know. I work with a lot of nurses that that want to start. Yes. Yeah. 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 If you guys do two a days, I just want you to do an extra protein shake and carb. So you're gonna have two shakes and two fruits or whatever you're gonna have. Both post workout within 30 minutes. Banana, apple, orange. I just think a banana's the easiest. Apple's okay, but sometimes it hurts your teeth. Some people don't like biting into it. Um, banana's soft. Holly. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. So, so you guys are not. You guys are not going to be cooking your food in oil. Okay, almost everybody pours oil on the food and they cook it. You're going to use Pam oil cooking spray, some sort of olive oil cooking spray. It's zero calories, and that's how you're going to use your that's how you're going to do your food. Now, if you do decide to cook with coconut oil or olive oil, you need to weigh it out. One tablespoon is 15 grams of fat, and even though some of it cooks off, you still need it. That's your fat for that meal. You don't get any extra fats. Okay, so make sure I would just I would save them for some I would save your fats for something else. Um, it is going to be a clean source of fat if you do it. Just make sure not to add. So if it says 15 grams of fat here, you're gonna, you're not gonna just. If you're gonna cook with fat, you're just not gonna add the extra fat. So that means you have to eat a lean meat and not a fatty meat. Yep. All you're switching is your carbs, really. Okay. All you're switching is. You're just gonna have your smaller carb meal, your 10 to 20 grams of carbs in the morning versus the night, that's it. You're still gonna eat all the same timing stuff and you're just gonna switch your protein shake for the evening. So the biggest thing is fueling around your guys' workouts because you guys have to gain muscle, okay? So all of your guys' body fat was high, everybody. So Thanks, you need Oh good, to eat. I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> you need to eat. So that's, I just don't think you guys are eating enough protein. I mean, do you guys really like look at your protein when you guys eat it? Probably not. Most people don't unless you're tracking. So you guys, protein is like number one right now. So. I'm gonna ask you about that. Okay, so mm -hmm. 40 grams of carbs. If you want broccoli, you should probably add another vegetable like in there. Potato. Or you're gonna. Oh yeah, you're okay. not gonna get. You're okay. Six yeah. pounds. You know how much broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> so much broccoli. That'd be like that much broccoli. <laughs> you guys do need to eat your starchy carbs for sure. Yeah, at your higher carb meal, whole. I would go off of the. Um, the carbohydrates uh, for like the athletes to post in pre-workout that I posted here, whole oats, oat bran, brown rice, white rice, quinoa. If you want rice cakes, you can have them. The lightly salty is good. Edamame pasta, have an extra fruit. I would also recommend if you guys don't have any good cookbooks, you get a good cookbook. Um, I've been po I posted a picture of the omelet thing that I made the other day that's been pretty good, even if it's been repeated. And then, who's doing John's meals? Almost everybody. Okay, so I, um, I don't have a picture of his off the top of my head, but the sirloin, potato, green bean one is good. Um, the spaghetti squash with, the, me and April talked about this, I forgot there's cheese on it. Just ask him to put no dairy on it. Um, really? Unless you're like a big dude looking to gain muscle, you really don't need to be eating the the alley double breaster for the guys. That would be okay. Double the, breaster. The Colson. Um, the Colson would only be good if like you're a dude and you came in here and you worked out for like two straight hours. You really like there's a hundred carbs in it. I mean, you really don't even need that much. So that's for like.
like if you're in here like two hours straight, like Mike or something, and he's in here killing it, you really don't need that much in one sitting. So you could even split that meal up. Um, now there's some that are low carb, but really you guys don't need like this garlic pepper salmon with cauliflower rice. It's only 10 carbs and the baked herb chicken. It's only 10 carbs. You guys really don't need that little bit of carbs. So if you do get those meals, just make sure to add in your extra carbs on top of that. But this kind of, if you guys can do this, you can see here, like it pretty much equals the meals that I give you. So like for instance, the, let's look at the lean pepper sirloin steak is 30 protein, 35 carb, and 10 fat. Boom, there's your lunch. You don't gotta worry about it. You don't gotta worry about weighing nothing. So it makes it a little bit easier but definitely free prep, you guys. Have your food out, like have your food ready Sunday and serve it up. Four ounces of meat, serving of, you, want me, you guys wanna know like what I eat usually? Um, oh, my phone's over there. I was gonna tell you. So my favorite is like, I just do four ounces of meat of choice, turkey, turkey burger, chicken, six to seven ounces of potato, so red potato, um, rust potato is fine, sweet potato is about your allotted 20 to 30 grams of carbs, green veggie, green beans, and then the fats could be some avocado or some walnuts, the serving, okay? So really easy stuff. Like the, the more simple you can keep it, the better it's gonna be, and the more you can eat the same thing every day, you're gonna know like, okay, this is not working. I'm either eating too much of this or not. So try and keep the same meals every day. Try not to do crazy recipes because then it just starts getting like all over the place. Simple, simple foods. So like say for instance, like say I lose 20 pounds. Say like three, I lose 20 pounds. Would I start, would I need to cut more? No, I would, probably, I would probably have you have a cheat meal just to refill your glycogen stores and stuff because your performance is going to go shit if you lose that much weight that fast. But we want to be able to do that weight loss. No, we probably have you feel like a cheat meal. And if you're still losing or maintaining that, just a quick cheat meal or something like that. Or we would just need to increase your just at the start of the wash, maybe double the servings, something like that. That's a, the that's a thing. You guys are going to kind of see after the first week, then I'll really be able to like kind of dial things in. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, with 10 grams of protein, just get the low sodium. Okay. Yeah, because it'll be high in sodium. Yeah, the bone broth is, bone broth, broth is great. 10 grams of protein, and you can just drink it then. Just get the low sodium stuff. If you guys, if you guys don't have any other questions, Go. I'm gonna stick around. I have to do some people's measurements still, but just get get in the swing of things first. The first challenge is gonna be launched on Monday, so it'll be up there. You guys just post under the post for the challenges, and then we'll do they're due by Sundays, and then we'll do the drawing probably Monday or Tuesday, and then hand out prizes for that. So go shopping, get stuff off the shopping list, pick a few things, make a few meals. Don't get it all. Um, who is going to track? All right, you guys need my email for, you need to add me as a professional if you're gonna track. Danielle Hawkins, 084 at gmail.com. 084. Yeah. Daniel. 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 D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E. I-E-L-L-E. Say it again. Oh yeah. Danielle Hawkins at uh, Danielle Hawkins 084 at Gmail. So you'll go to professionals, go to add professional or invite, and then you're going to invite me on there. Yes. Yep. All y'all are going down. It's starting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking with an S. <laughs> <laughs>